Paul had spoken to one of the neighbors Marlene Green who had seen the two of them together several times. He had stayed there to see if Gretchen would show up and she had. Neither Perry or Della had heard from Paul Drake that day and they wondered what he had been up to. There were now three murders out there and they were both sure that he was very busy. If he found something else out they knew that he would let them know. So after they had eaten their terrible supper the two of them went back to work on the case. As Della went through some more of the sales she finally found something that caught her eye. There had been a sale of a toy that had gone to someone in L.A. They had said that the toy had belonged to them and the toy had been stolen from their home some six months ago. There had been some heated discussions between the two parties and finally the money had been returned to the buyer and he got to keep the merchandise. No charges were ever filed. Dello made a note of the lady's name. Her name was Clara Majors and she lived in the city. It took her a while. But she finally got the address of the lady. She went over and showed Perry what she had found out. He smiled at her and said good work now let's not stop yet. When Paul calls I will give him the information so that his men can look into it for us he told her. The two of them worked for the next two hours and when Perry saw the time he called it a night. It was now after 11 and they both needed sleep. They were going to have another heavy day tomorrow. He kissed Della. Good night and headed out to his penthouse once more. When he got home it was after midnight and he went right to bed. Della cleaned up the mess and looked at the photo of the house that they were going to be purchasing. It was a wonderful home and she was starting to get very excited about the house. She and Lori would decorate it the way that they wanted. Of course, she was going to ask Perry for his opinion but she knew that he would like anything that she did with the house. But they would have to hurry because the wedding was getting closer and closer with each passing week. Lori would be home on the following Monday and they would start thinking about things as soon as she and Mike returned. Della went to bed right away and got up early in the morning. Perry called at 9 and came over at 10. He had some more ideas that he wanted to work on and he still had not heard from Paul. He was starting to wonder about what was going on with Paul and George but knew that both men knew what they were doing and that they would come right over as soon as there was anything that they had to tell him. The next day was Saturday and Perry and Della had plans to go out to a club that night. There was a band playing there that they wanted to hear. It was one of the bands that they had been considering to use at their wedding. And they wanted to make sure that they played the kind of music that they liked. The entire day was again spent working on the murder case and at four Perry headed back to his penthouse to get ready for the night out he had planned with Della. It was a nice club where they were going to be going and he had reservations so that they would be seated close to the dance floor and band. They took their seat at the table and were served a delicious meal. The entire time that they were eating the band played. The band played all different types of music and Della liked them very much. The lead singer a young man was very talented. The night was spent with them dancing many times closely. Della could feel Perry's breath as they danced together. And she felt as though she was on cloud nine once again. He was such a good dancer and so handsome. By the end of the night she knew that this was the band that she wanted to play at their wedding and she told Perry about that. To her pleasure he agreed and so it was settled. They danced each and every slow dance and held each other close. They did not arrive back at Della's house. Until after 1 am and Perry came in to be with Della for a few minutes alone. Their time alone was so rare and. In just 8 days Lori and Mike would come home. From then until their wedding the only place that they would. Be able to go and get some privacy was at Perry's penthouse and that was for sale. Della and Perry took a seat on the couch and Perry put his arms around her. He loved her with all of his heart. And just wanted some time together. They were in the middle of a passionate kiss when once again the spell 
was broken by a knock on the door. Perry got up and walked to the door. He opened the door to Paul who once again had interrupted them. At least this time they were decent and Paul was genuinely sorry that he had come there again, but he had some news that he wanted to tell them. He took a seat on the love seat and took out his trusted notebook. I finally heard from Glenn Stevens. He has been looking into the clock that came broken in the mail. The man is an insurance fraud, but I don't think he has anything to do with the murder. He will be charged with fraud and that is all Paul told them. Perry watched his face and was sure that Paul had something else for him. Is there anything else that you have? For us Paul, he asked. Yes I have been watching the Tuttle home and it seems that Gretchen Horns and Babette Tuttle are quite chummy. They see each other every day. I am working on how they know each other so well and hope that I have an answer. For you shortly. Paul told them. Well you let us know anything that you find out. Della told him. But when you are coming to Della's house and you see my car in the driveway call me and then give us a few. Minutes please. Perry told him with a smile. I will call you and then ride around the block a few times. How's that? Paul told him. Make it five or ten Della told him with a devilish grin. Paul went to leave and Perry followed him out the door you don't have to come with me you know Paul told. Perry. Oh I know but I have to leave. I am getting where I don't trust myself anymore he told him with a shake of his head. Paul thought of Perry as his best friend and he knew that Perry had a lot of things on his mind. He had married. Sue the love of his life seven years ago. The wedding was probably the hardest thing that they had been through. It was a very stressful time for all newlywed couples but he knew that his friends would survive the time and always. Look back at the time as a good time just busy. Perry was glad that it was Sunday. There was a baseball game on the television and he and Della could spend the day watching it with a little work to go with it. They also had a long night the night before. He would come over. At around 10 as he had for the last few days and they would have a good time together. When he arrived at Della's house he could smell something cooking. It smelled like roast beef. Yes it was roast. Beef and potatoes. Della was making a meal for the two of them. It was only 10 in the morning and he was getting hungry already. He had just eaten breakfast but the food smelled delicious. Today was to be a day of rest unless Perry and Della heard nothing from Paul or the police. Perry wanted to talk to Della about the decorating of the house. He had the lady's name that had designed his penthouse and he would ask Della about it. They would watch the game on television and relax. The morning went well with Della working on her laptop and Perry relaxing and reading the morning newspaper. The dinner continued to smell up the whole house and Perry was starting to really get hungry. Della had known that next to steak roast beef was his favorite meals and there was nothing like roast beef petite potatoes and glazed carrots. He had indeed chosen a good woman to be his wife. As they sat down to eat Perry smiled at Della from across the table. She was always a lady even in an apron. It did not matter what she wore she looked like a lady. The meal was delicious and that is when Perry decided to approach the subject of the designing of the rooms at the new house. Della I have been thinking. You have so much to do with this wedding and the work at my office. Now we are also buying a house. There is a lot to do with the decorating of the house. Perhaps we could use a professional decorator. Perry told her. For a second he thought that Della was going to cry. He saw tears starting to well in her eyes. You don't think that I can do a good enough job, she asked him. Wrong way to handle this Perry thought to himself. No of course not. I just thought that you have been so busy. I thought that we might be able to use a professional. But if you want to do your own decorating I am sure that anything you chose will make me happy. Don't be upset. I thought that I was making you an offer that you would gladly accept. 
Just the other day you were complaining about all the work that you were going to have to do and I thought that this would lessen your load. Della knew that he had best thoughts in mind so she smiled and told him no all the other things are bothersome. But necessary. This was to be one of the fun things. Girls like to shop and as soon as Lori gets home we were going to go shopping and buy the furniture. I wanted you to come along too if you wish she told him. That is fine with me. Your taste is exquisite and the home will be a showplace of that I am sure. If you show me some samples I will be happy to get involved in some of the choices for our house with that he took Dallas. Hands in his and he smiled broadly. I love you and I always will. As the afternoon turned into evening Perry and Della began working on the murder mystery once again. They both were bothered by the fact that someone had killed both partners. They were sure if they found the killer of one of the men they would find the killer of both men. So to work on the computer they went once again. Della wanted to go to the home of the man who had argued about one of the purchases but Paul had taken on that task and had not gotten back to them.